Welcome! In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can add sound files to a PowerPoint presentation. If you haven't already watched the screencast about how to download sound files from Sounds Abound, I'd highly encourage you to go back, watch that screencast first, and then you can continue with the screencast. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you downloaded music and you watched the screencast about how to download from Sounds Abound. So now we're going to add sound to our PowerPoint. The first thing I want you to notice is I have a very, very simple PowerPoint presentation. Yours is going to look much better than mine. I just made a very simple one to demonstrate for you how it is that we're going to add our sounds. So, here we go. On your title page, you're not going to have anything. It's just your title and your name. So we're going to go then to one of the um, second or third slides in your presentation. doesn't matter. So, to insert sound, the first thing we want to do is at the top we want to go to the insert tab because you're inserting sound. And then we're going to look for the media clip ribbon because sound is considered a media clip as our movies. So we're going to go over to media clips and find sound. You want to click where it says sound with an arrow to expand the menu. There are four different ways that you can add sound files to a PowerPoint presentation. You can add sound from a file, which is what we're going to do, because we downloaded a file from SoundsBound. You can get sound from the clip organizer, which is just like getting clip art. So it's a list of sounds that are already added into Microsoft PowerPoint for you to use. If you have a CD with a sound file on it, you can play it from the CD. You want to be careful about this. You do have to have that audio CD ready to go every time you present. So if you use a CD, that's great, but you got to have your CD the day that you go to present for your class. And then the last thing you can do is if you have a microphone in a quiet room, you can record the sound. So you could record a narration, you could record yourself playing guitar or a clarinet in your bedroom, and you could import that sound. For today, we're going to do sound from a file. So I'm going to left click to select that and a dialog box will pop up. It says insert sound, so that's what we're doing. What you need to do then is navigate to where you saved your file from Sounds Abound. Remember, I saved mine in my documents, and then I'm going to look for the title I gave it. We gave it a meaningful title, so I'm going to look for my rock song for the project, select it, and then click the OK button. When you do that, you click a very loud um, Microsoft Office PowerPoint dialog box again, and this says, how do you want the sound to start in the slideshow? Well, we have two choices. I can have it start automatically, which means as soon as I go to that slide, the song will start, or I can say one clicked, so the sound file won't start until I click on it. So maybe I want to talk a little bit and then play the sound. It's up to you. The good news is, if you click automatically and later, later you change your mind because you want the music to start when you click it, you can change this. So, for now, we'll say one clicked. Notice now I have a little sound icon, so I have a little speaker there. I'm going to move mine down to the bottom just because I don't want it to be in the way. And then, at the top, we get a sound tools ribbon now with an options tab. So we're going to go to the options tab. I want you to notice the first thing we can do is find the play ribbon. I can click it to preview it. And if you click the preview button again, that will pause it. The next thing in our sound options ribbon is I can adjust the volume that this is going to play. So I can have it be low, medium, or high. I'm going to choose low just because I guess I'm old. It feels like it's very loud. Um, and then other options that we have is we can hide the icon. Where it says hide during show, it means when we go to play this, we won't see the icon. If you're going to have this play when clicked, it would probably be a good idea to show the icon so you know where to click. We can loop until stopped, which means that until you move forward from the slide or you stop the music, it's just going to keep going from start to finish. So it'll loop around repeatedly until you stop it. Here's where we can change when the um, sound is played. So automatically means as soon as we go to the slide, it will play until we move away from the slide. When clicked means when we click on it, it plays. Play across slides means if you wanted to have a song start at the very beginning and play all the way through the end of your PowerPoint presentation, that's what you would choose. Play across the slides. I'm going to choose automatically for this one because I said I wanted to hide the speaker so no one would see it. In the arrange ribbon, just like when you use clip art, I can bring the speaker forward or backwards. Selection pane, what you can do is you can choose over here which sound it is that you want. We're not going to worry about that right now. 
and you can choose alignment. Again, we're not going to worry about it. Feel free to play with that on your own time. And then finally, the size ribbon is just how large our speaker icon is going to be. And since mine is hidden, I'm not going to worry about it. So now what we want to do is preview our sound file to make sure that it works. So you have a couple choices. I can come down here if you watch where my cursor is, and I can click where it says slideshow, or you can hit the F5 key on your keyboard. The choice is yours. So when I hit F5, here's my um, title slide. Here's my title slide. Let me say that a little nicer. I hit enter. My music started automatically, and I'll hit enter. And notice when I hit enter to move to the next slide that the music stopped. So that's how you'll navigate through your PowerPoint presentation. As always, if you have questions or concerns with adding sound, you know where to find me in the Media Center. I'm always happy to help you. Good luck.